Yes, sir! New York Knicks news. Taylor Horn Tucker could be a Nick next season, boys. What's up? Just got some quick news about the Knicks today. So, came out recently that apparently multiple teams are interested in pursuing Taylor Horn Tucker next year. The teams included are the Knicks, the Mavericks, and there was another team. The Knicks, the Mavericks, and the Cavaliers. But I'm here to talk about the Knicks today. So, the Knicks are interested in Taylor Horn Tucker. First of all, not everyone knows who Taylor Horn Tucker is. Taylor Horn Tucker, he's a young player. This is his second year in the league. He's 6'4". He's built kind of like an Eric Gordon. Has a long wingspan, 6'4", stocky build. Very long wingspan. That's the main thing about him. Great defensive presence. Very active on defense. His long arms allow him to be active on defense. Jump into passing lanes. He can shoot well. He's a 36% three-point shooter. More efficient from the inside. He's about a 54% two-point shooter. So he's very efficient. Has long arms. Can shoot well. He's active on defense. He's built like Eric Gordon. He's just a great player. He can finish well. Get to the rim easily because of his long arms. He primarily plays the shooting guard and the small forward, but he could also play power forward in instances, and he can play point guard in instances. But his main position is shooting guard small forward. So how does Taylor Horn Tucker potentially fit with the Knicks? As a two guard slash three guard, he fits very well with the Knicks. This is exactly the type of guy that the Knicks should be looking at because he's the type of guy, he's a good locker room guy. He's a sponge. LeBron said it himself recently in an interview. He says, I love Taylor Horn Tucker. He's a sponge. He's always ready to learn. Taylor Horn Tucker said it himself. I always ask guys what I can do better, how I can improve, and he pays attention. So he's humble. He wants to learn, and all he cares about is improving his game. This is the exact type of guy that the Knicks need. He would fit very well as a two or three. Could come off the bench for, for RJ Barrett. He could come off the bench for the Knicks two, or he could be the Knicks two in the future. Whatever the case may be, it all depends on who the Knicks draft this year. But Taylor Horn Tucker would be a great fit. And what I like about this fit, what I like about the Knicks going after Torton Huck. <laughs> what I like about the Knicks going after Taylor Horton Tucker is the fact that they're no longer making stupid moves. They're taking the slow rebuild approach instead of trying to go all in for a Russell Westbrook trade or all in for a Gordon Hayward trade or some shit like that. They're taking their time. They're picking up the right pieces that fit with the culture they're trying to build over time. And they're building a culture and an organization. As I've said in previous videos, what I really like about the Knicks this season is they finally have that swagger, boys. They they finally come onto the court feeling like, yo, we can beat this team. In prior seasons with the Knicks, it felt like they'd go into every game saying, okay, we'll just see what we can do. We'll try our best. Now they come into games feeling like, yo, we're the best team on this court and we can win this game as long as we execute. And I love that swagger that the Knicks have. Taylor Horton Tucker will only add to that swagger, boys. So let me know in the comments. How do you guys feel about the Knicks potentially going after Taylor Horton Tucker? He will be a restricted free agent this summer. Let me know in the comments how you guys feel about that. Other than that, if you enjoyed the video, make sure you like the video and subscribe to the channel. We do new NBA videos every single week. All right, peace, boys.